Hello and welcome to Throwdown Thursdays. My name is David and today I'm joined by my good friend and fellow teammate James. Hello! And today we are playing Magic Maze. This is a real-time cooperative game where we will be working as a team to help a barbarian, elf, mage and a dwarf to steal their necessary equipment for their next adventure in their local shopping mall. Each player is given a direction and during the game any player can move any of the four heroes in that direction at any time. There's no turns. I have the ability to move west or left, as well as move the heroes from where they currently are to their vortex of their corresponding colour. Natalie can move south or down, and whenever a player lands on the explorer space, Natalie can then increase the size of them all, allowing us to find the items that the heroes need. So James, your ability is to move uh, east or left, right even. <laughs> uh, right. Right. Yes, you're, you're left teleport west, I am... Uh, east right yes east right and kind of um, northeast slash southwest yes because you can use the escalators so as long as the hero is on one of the spaces that they can move an escalator you can move it's, it's up or down northeast south, I... southwest kind of oh well, yeah I mean from this angle it's diagonal yeah yeah <laughs> um, so it's, it's a very nice exciting ability to start with yes exactly so we're playing scenario three the object is to get all of the heroes to their corresponding items once that's done they have to go to their corresponding exits as well not only that every time we land on a egg timer we obviously flip this egg we flip the time over it starts at three minutes and then whatever time remains after that just gets added on to the next round um, we can talk when we land on the egg timer but that's it as soon as someone starts moving a piece we have to be silent for the rest of the game that's obviously the hard part, the non-communicating. Yeah, it's going to be challenging for most of us because we like talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially, of course, James, you can only move one direction and up uh, the escalators. If you need to move, if you want to move someone, you obviously have to use the red um, block, which is the do something item. You stick it in front of them um, to do something, basically. Yeah, it looks like a mini red bowling pin. Mm -hmm. it's, it is difficult, isn't it's it? It's all about... Keeping an, eye, keeping an eye on an ever-expanding board. Yeah, of course. Uh, the main objective probably is to get all the tiles out onto the board. And then once that's done, then you can you know, frantically get to uh, the items that need to be done. Obviously, you see the orange is so close to its own item. But we can't see the, oh, the yellow exits there, but we can't see the yellow item. So the yellow, obviously, getting onto the Explorer um tile is trying to find its uh, its item so it's kind of come to a dead end here obviously orange can be seen down here but orange is all the way up there i guess i could teleport it here but obviously that's not what i'm looking for no so to get all the all the tiles out is probably the main objective at the beginning isn't yeah it? in the first round you want to get as many tiles out as you can before yeah. uh well to, for long story short as soon as the round finishes we're all going to be changing abilities mm. that's the thing not only are you paying attention to an expanding board but you're going to have to immediately um, get used to an, another ability, a new ability, which your the previous player has. Yeah, exactly. And you can see from the three minutes, we're going down, we're in the last minute now. Yeah. So it's seconds. So not only that, some people are so focused on the heroes and where they are and where they need to be, no one's actually paying attention to the egg timer that's right here. We're actually doing pretty well, though. I think there's only... There's only two more tiles, I think, that need to come out. But obviously, you know, you've got 30 seconds left. I was lucky enough, able to... Uh, teleport the purple to here and so it can go straight because obviously my ability can move uh, to the left as well uh, so I was able to do that so we all swap our abilities so during this time we can talk so yes. that's what we're talking about now uh, what we need to do there's only two tiles left so we're saying purple can go down here orange can go up here get the last two tiles out and see what is actually missing because at the moment I think we are only missing the purple item other than that, we've got all the exits out and all the other items. So really, we, don't, we only need one tile. But um, it's good to get all of them out, just in case. Yeah, just, just, just in case. Just I think, case. Uh, even though it might relinquish another timer, any timer, you you might need that. Yeah. Um, oh, depends yeah. how oh, the game goes. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, there's two out at the moment. We've already used one. And there's the uh, purple um, item. So we've got all the items out. We just need to get them there. And then once they're all there at the same time, then we can move and get them to the exit. But obviously, like you said, without communicating, sometimes you're focused on your hero. You kind of get lost as to when people put that do something token in front of you. You're like, oh, what do I do? Well, yeah, I mean, it's come right in front of me quite a few times. And, you know, <laughs> when you actually hear it, if you hear it, it's really quite intimidating. Because yeah. like, people are like, 
it's your, you've got to move. Yeah, exactly. And you're like, where? Where? Yeah. There's four tokens and <laughs> this huge map. And... and I can only move down and know what there's walls blocking me everywhere. Yeah. Oh, wait. I can, uh, I'm supposed to do the exploring action or the escalator action. Um, but yeah, that's how, that's how the game plays. You can see on the side, uh, we're all now trying to get to the corresponding items. We've got the green and we've got the yellow. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut to the audio. Not that there's any proper audio, it's just silence. It's just us, but you'll gonna... hear it in action. It's, very, <laughs> it's a very strange game. Yeah, exactly. Just as we get to, well, nearly the last second of the next um, egg timer. So we're going we're gonna to cut now. Oh, was that oh. I didn't even, I'm not even like, I, didn't, I wasn't even yeah, noticing that. Was that. so close, I, I so close. Thought. I wondered what was going on. I was actually seconds. focused on the orange. Actually, well done you. Honestly, well done. <laughs> I was like, I can't do right, anything. Right, so let's get, should we do the orange first? That's easiest. Orange, teleport. And then focus, where's, or we need to, we I'll get, get a purple teleporting back yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, right. that's I'm going to need to swap, okay? Just to be clear, these have to be actually on there before you teleport. No, no, they just teleport to there. Right. Oh, yeah. So orange is just going there on its own. I'm teleporting purple to this tile right, here. And then we'll do that. And then, and then we'll after that. that, then we'll just we'll get, have to let's get... do orange. Let's do green first because that's close exit. Green and then orange. Yellow. Green, oh, yellow. green so yellow. What are talking about when we when we when we yeah, exit? Yeah, when we get to yeah. exit. So yeah. green, orange yellow. now. Per teleport purple. Yeah. And then go. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Keep an eye on this because when 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 we flip this, we can talk again. All right. Okay. Cool. Okay, go. All right. So. Oh, good. Wow. I was very close. Um, well, this is pretty simple, isn't yeah, it? Right? Yeah. Like, so, so should we just do orange first? Orange, yeah. Because it's right there. Closest, and, then and, then and then we'll just focus on the purple. Yeah. 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 Have we got a swap again? Yeah, we swap. Right, so I'm going I don't think I've got any help. Oh, escalators, man. I don't think I've got any help on this one. Right, uh, go. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm, not I'm not even gonna lie. I was looking. I was like, I literally can do nothing <laughs> until we put the, the, <laughs> the most important one. You should have like let it tense out. Like, uh, that was good. Oh, that was good. That was good. Yeah. So yeah. you were having a pretty laid back last round there, weren't you? Yeah, I was. <laughs> just watching you guys go down. Uh, I didn't feel like I needed to do anything. And how did it feel just having that red pin? Like in front of you. Well, like you said, it really you can really feel the intimidation. Like when they put it in front of you and everyone's just staring at you, you're like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily for me, obviously it was just the purple. So that's the only thing I had to look at. Obviously when there's multiple heroes all over the place, you have to look at each individual one and yeah, it becomes quite daunting. Yeah, the red pin 
absolutely terrifies me. You know, mm. when you've got all four pieces on the board, um, you're trying to get to your shops or the exits, and it gets slammed down in front of you, and they they know what they want you to do. <laughs> yeah. And you're looking right into their eyes, right back at them, like... Okay, no, yeah, don't look at me. Look at the board. It's on the board. Your move's there. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, is it this one? No! You know, well, yeah, obviously, they don't say no, but um, yeah, it's, you know, wow. It's just a good, it's, it's a very interesting take. Or mm. well, during the time of the land of the, land of the egg timer, you obviously have the chance to talk. So that's when you get everything, you cram in everything you want to say and your game plan, what you want to do. Yeah. There was obviously quite easy just to. They get to the item and get to the exit. So when you land on an egg timer, you say, all right, let's do this colour and this colour. And then after that, everyone's on their on their item. Then we can leave and then we'll just do whoever's closest. It's like that big sigh of relief. You can just let it all out. It's like, here's what I want you to do. We've got to, you know, we've got to do this. Yeah. We've got to do that. We've got to go up. We've got to hang out left. And, you know, north, south, east, west. Just get them to the exits. <laughs> you know, do what you've got to do. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and then silence. Yeah, and then silence. Just nothing. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan. Oh. But no, yeah, the game is really the game is really good. Uh, we failed a couple of times the first time we played, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more, and um, I'm looking forward to more that they add to the game. Yeah, there's surveillance cameras. There's um, walls that the dwarf can go through, and no one else can go through. Um, the elf is allowed. The elf. The archer is allowed to. You're allowed to talk whenever it lands on the explorer space. Oh, the, wow. There's a lot more to the game than what we just played. That's just pretty much the basics. Well, I couldn't see myself getting bored because even in the a, a simple scenario like we just played, you know, even rotating your abilities, the item, it keeps it fresh. Yeah. You know, and it's like you, you know, it's something new to learn. And you're like, okay, you know, you're so focused on okay, getting the ability right. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's really cool. I like the idea. Mm, really good. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next time. Goodbye.